Yo, so guys, and welcome back to a brand new HMS Minis video. And today, we finally have the news on Valentino Rossi's future in this sport. And unfortunately, for obviously us and his fans, that he will be retiring. He will be calling it a day, and it is the end of his MotoGP career. This will be his final season, albeit a very, you know, tough season for, for Valentino Rossi. You know, he hasn't really... You know, gone to plan, you know, whatsoever. But, um, you know, even though he will be going out on a little bit of a, a low, <laughs> you know, I guess you could say, you know, that still doesn't take away, you know, obviously he, he's, he's, you know, career of, of success and everything that he's achieved in MotoGP. It's definitely going to, you know, miss him on, on the track. I think, you know, I feel like his presence is still going to be there, you know, with the teams and all that. And, you know, his fans are probably still going to be dominating the grandstands honestly even though he's not you know actually there racing but um you know Valentino Rossi it, you know like I said it's going to be sad because obviously you know when I started watching MotoGP obviously at the age of four you know three four somewhere around there uh you know obviously watching you know Valentino Rossi winning championships fighting at the front you know pretty much grown up you know watching you know Valentino Rossi you know fighting at the front fighting against these big names and you know always coming out on top and now obviously we're coming to the point where it's time to you know hang up the race suit and uh you know focus on some other sports and stuff in life and to obviously have his own team and that um and um yeah you know it is sad it, it is sad obviously you know for especially for rossi fans you know they're very definitely very passionate fans you know you see that all the time every race weekend and um yeah you know like i said this season hasn't exactly gone to plan for Valentino rossi i think everyone can kind of agree on that uh it's definitely been you know very anticlimactic and uh you know definitely you know hasn't exceeded uh, expectations or goals or anything of a sort but um you know like i said that doesn't take away from everything that he has achieved you know in his career obviously those nine world championships you know all them wins all them podiums the fastest laps you know he switched between manufacturers and you know, obviously winning on the honda then he was switched over to the yamaha because he wanted to prove you know that he could win without having the best bike went ahead and done that you know obviously rode the ducati also um which you know wasn't the best bike in those years but you know he still had the privilege to you know ride a ducati bike in moto gp and, uh, you know, he's, had, he's obviously had a, had a great career. I mean, he, you know, he is the GOAT of uh, MotoGP, you know, probably forever, honestly. You know, even though there may be riders which could, you know, excel in world championships, I think for the majority of, you know, the MotoGP kind of fan base, you know, Valentino Rossi, you know, will always be the GOAT. <laughs> you know, I mean, just everything is achieved in the different eras. Uh, of racing, there are all the different types of bikes, you know, the, the millions and millions of fans that he achieved, you know, in the era of, you know, no social media, for example, you know, nowadays, you know, it's a little bit easier, I guess you could say, to, you know, get that marketing, you know, doing publications, that fame, the following, you know, we have social media, I mean, you post a photo and, you know, boom, that's out to millions of people, well, obviously, you know, in the early days, of you know moto gp and now obviously social media you know that you know wasn't a thing obviously so you know valentino rossi you know everything he built built everything he built um you know was was just him you know just him on the track you know he's riding and the way he was his personality obviously the, the, the funky colors and little helmets that he would always have you know that got everyone's attention and uh you know he got millions and millions of fans you know just just by via his riding and um you know his personality and you know what he brought to the track you know he's definitely a rider which has put a lot into moto gp uh I, you know i'd say more than any other rider you know everything you know that rossi's done for for, for bike racing you know it's, it's it's spectacular you know i mean maybe in the future you know we will see a rider you know put that much into moto gp but you know what what valley has done you know in in his career is is definitely extraordinary and it's going to be very exciting to see you know what he kind of does you know from now on obviously he's you know calling it a day uh racing in the moto gp paddock but um you know we could be seeing him race some cars uh in different world championships uh maybe try you know a couple of different things here and there and uh, we'll definitely probably see him you know uh, his presence uh in the moto gp paddock you know with his sky vr46 aramco team 
So um, it's, it's, it's exciting times, exciting times. It was to be expected, honestly. I mean, you know, we, we, we can't expect Valentino Rossi to stay around forever. I mean, he is, you know, 42 years old uh, on the MotoGP bike fighting against riders which are getting younger and younger every time. Uh, you know, the the more we go, you know, these riders are coming up into MotoGP, you know, 18 years old, 19 years old, you know, early 20s. And, uh, you know, obviously we've got Valentino Rossi there at the age of 42, still, you know, quite close with the times. And um, it's, it's like I said, it's sad to see him, you know, obviously eventually call it a day. But, uh, you know, it's obviously to be expected. I mean, you know, we can't expect Valentino Rossi to, to be on the grid forever. Uh, especially, obviously, when he isn't competitive. So, um, you know, it made sense to, uh, to to make this decision, I'd say. And uh, I think he can definitely be proud, you know, of his career and everything that he's achieved. Uh, but, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's amazing. I mean, there isn't really any other word to kind of put for Valentino Rossi's career, you know, apart from, you know, spectacular, amazing and, you know, other synonyms of, of them kind of words. But, um, yeah, great, great career. For Valentino Rossi, hopefully, you know, he enjoys the, the rest of the season and, um, you know, has a little smile on his face and, uh, you know, enjoys his time and uh, and then moves on to uh, maybe bigger and better things. I mean, who knows what he's going to be doing. But uh, make sure you down in the comments, guys, what are your thoughts on the whole situation? Leave a like and subscribe for more content as always. And I'll see you with some brand new videos very soon.